Welcome to Midday. We begin the show talking about the Mayor's Gala for the Arts event, which is coming up this month. And of course, we are joined by the Mayor, Mr. Ken Christian, here in the first chair. Thanks for being here, Ken. Uh, pleasure. We also have James McDonald, who is, uh, of course, the Artistic Director of Western Canada Theatre. We have Margaret Krumka, who is the Executive Director of the Kamloops Art Gallery. And Kathy Humphreys joining us, who is uh, the General Manager of the Kamloops Symphony Society. So thank you all for being here. This is our, our biggest group of the show today, and we're really appreciating you being here to talk about this wonderful event. Um, I know that it's starting to gain momentum now that we're in January. Maybe we can start with you, Ken. Uh, there's a theme this year. Yeah, there is. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the uh, event's going to be uh, January the 19th. It's in that sort of post Christmas doldrums and uh, everybody's looking for something to do. Mm -hmm. And this year uh, the price has actually been lowered. It's $125 uh, and it's uh, directly in support of the arts in Kamloops mm -hmm. and, uh, and livability in Kamloops. So the theme is the 50s and uh, I, I think that. maybe it's it's because they've got an old gray mare I don't know but they, <laughs> that's, I don't think so. that's the, the theme that they've chosen so that's exciting I like that James talk a little bit about sort of the importance I know that it, uh, this is an event that really brings together the arts community and especially your three groups um, how important is that well it's a great chance for the for our three organizations mm -hmm. to collaborate on events with the city as well and it's uh, uh, a celebration and for, I think particularly this year we're really focusing on how we're celebrating all three organizations and the work that we do in the community. Uh, we're celebrating local artists in the in the awards that we do mm -hmm. and it's also I mean as Ken mentioned in the location I mean Romeo does such a fantastic job yeah. with the with the food up there it's all a 50s mm -hmm. diner theme fancy gourmet diner food mm -hmm. uh, we have some great entertainment with, with Richard Graham's Backbeats and it's uh, it's it really is it's a fun celebration of what we do as well as a way to collaborate and recognize the artists in the community. Yeah, and I know that um, the arts community is huge in Kamloops. We have a really good arts community, I think, a really well-respected arts community. But um, is this sort of one other way to really get people to pay attention, to see what you do and that sort of thing? Margaret, maybe you can answer that? Absolutely. It's sort of funny. When I go and travel across Canada, I'll have people from other galleries ask me, how do you do this? Mm -hmm. How do you actually bring together three groups? How do you have the backing of your mayor yeah. attending each year? And I sort of, you know, it makes me sort of take note and go, it is something really special that we've created here. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, I think because of the size of the community, we all know each other very well. We enjoy, um, do enjoy spending time together. Yeah. And the fact that it gives us an opportunity to showcase our artists in a different way, it's really, it's wonderful. Yeah. And it's really neat that it's it is in different ways. I mean, you have the art gallery, you have the theater, you have the the symphony, and I know Kathy, you've been with the symphony for a long time, so this must be uh, quite an important event for your organization as well. For sure, I think when we started this event 12 years ago, it was really. Um we weren't sure how, where it would go, yeah. but I think it's become one of the most important events of the year in terms of celebrating the arts community, showcasing what it does, bringing together arts supporters, and of course the uh, Mayor's Awards for the Arts, which celebrate particular individuals of note in, in the community. And it's a lot of fun on top yeah. of all that, so uh, yeah, we encourage everyone to come out and join us. Yeah, there is a lot that goes into this. It's uh, a dinner, but it's uh, much more than that, right, Ken? Yeah, and uh, you know we have to really acknowledge our presenting sponsors. Uh, this year, it's ARPA Investments and, and Joshua Knack, and and we have some sponsors that have been with this uh, event long before I was mayor, and and uh, dating back to Terry Lake and Peter Millibar mm -hmm. days. But uh, you know, uh, Lee's Music have been on board all of the time. A lot of media sponsors, uh, you know, Noran Printing, and and uh, certainly uh, the. Uh, uh, Camps Coast Hotel and Convention Center. So we've had great support from the business community and, and certainly from the public in Kamloops. So we're encouraging everyone to come out, fill the house, yes. and uh, let's have a party on the 19th of January. Uh, and the ticket sales, uh, money from that goes right back into the arts community, mm -hmm. or yeah, essentially yeah. that's exactly how. Yeah, it works. the the okay. entire event is uh, is a joint project, so all the revenue, all the expenses yeah. are worked out, and then uh, whatever proceeds there are are divided between the three organizations and really help us with our public performances, exhibitions, yeah. and. Yeah. Um, our educational programs as well. So yeah, um, it's sure. a, about a forty-five thousand dollar fundraiser, and uh, it's uh, been very successful every mm -hmm. year that we've run it. And 
I am sure it'll continue long into the future. What are you going to wear, Ken? Are you going to dress up? <laughs> yeah, that, that will be. And you know, that's something people have asked. You know, do you have to dress up? Uh, certainly, some people get into the theme of, of the fifties, and others uh, more of a semi-formal kind of thing. So, uh, you know, pick uh, you know whatever you're comfortable in, mm -hmm. and just make sure it's it's a fun evening and and come out and enjoy. Uh, Romeo, I'm sure, is going to have uh, you know a best uh, you know creative uh, uh, for the He's foodies. So it's yeah. going to be wonderful. So, um, how about how, how is the best? Uh, uh, way to get tickets, everyone. Uh, just through the arts community. Through the Kamloops through Live Kamloops. box office. Through the box office. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. All and that's right. that's available online as well as as well as in person. Wonderful. Definitely. And don't forget a new added feature this year. We're doing yes. having a little bit of dancing at the end of the event. It's not oh, normally right. yeah. billed as a dinner dance, but this year we're having some dancing. So I'm sure the people in the crowd would like to, uh, you know, get up and shake off yeah. some of that dinner. Will probably be <laughs> quite interested. <laughs> in that. Well that might be the incentive for some people. Kathy. I'm glad you added that in. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Appreciate you joining us, you guys. Uh, of course, the Mayor's Gala for the Arts happening on January 19th. For more information, you. You can go to mayorsgalafortheartscom and if you need tickets, do so through Kamloops Live box office. We're back after a break with more midday. Stay with us.